This is my third attempt, and I'm a. I'm determined. I am gonna make this video. My phone's not gonna deter me. My stupid Facebook button on my phone is not gonna. Someone fart over there? Farting's not gonna distract me. I am answering these questions. First question was asking about my accomplishments throughout the year, small or big, whatever. I've had many accomplishments, the smaller ones being able to talk to like store clerks or strangers or speak up when I need to, to people that I'm not usually comfortable talking and like actually starting conversations with people I kind of know but not really. Bigger accomplishments. I mean, I've had more than just that one accomplishment, but that's the only one that comes to mind right now. Maybe I'll sit down and write down and actually like flesh out my own accomplishments so you guys can see what I've actually done because I haven't recorded anything. Okay, bigger accomplishments. I'm getting over my fear of driving. I have my second driver's test on October 16th because I've pa I failed my first one, which was a huge bummer and I got really upset and I got over it and now I'm driving again and so it's going to be good and hopefully I'll pass it this time. I got over the fear of dying in childbirth because I didn't with my second time around, which was awesome because dying would not be fun at this point in time. It's very inconvenient. I kind of got over my fear of death too. I don't know if that's a little accomplishment or a big one because it feels kind of little. Um, that's all the thing off the top of my head, but I'll probably think of more. Uh, shout out to Nick who is getting over agoraphobia, which is a huge thing. I've had like little bouts of it but not anything like I've actually had to really battle with but that is a huge accomplishment because it sounds like he really did push himself and just made himself get over it and that's just awesome it's not an easy thing to do but it's something that you just have to do you just sometimes just have to push yourself and get over it I know it sounds kind of harsh because you're just like this is an emotional problem this is a mental thing it's like sometimes you just have to suck it up put it your big pants on and just deal with it it sucks it's the whole card cold card hard cold cold hard truth but it's the truth um somebody talked about the fear of the anticipation of getting an anxiety attack that is a crappy feeling because Good, my phone's still recording. It's a crappy feeling because you already have to deal with anxiety attack, but then you have to get to deal with the fear of having anxiety attack, and that's no fun. I'm offering a solution. Every negative thought you have, replace it with, like, not every single one, but, like, if you start to think of something negative. And I know it's sometimes hard to catch yourself with that thought, because you just kind of, it's right in the back of your head, but you need to be vigilant, pay attention to how you're thinking, and when you see something that you do not like, you change it. Even if it's something like you just don't like that you're thinking like this or you don't like the way your brain starts to work and you don't know what else to replace your thoughts with. Um, just think of something. Something that makes you happy. Something that's just like warm chocolate chip cookies. Or a good memory. Place it with, good, uh, with a good mem good memory. Everybody has at least one. Something that makes you feel at home. Something that makes you feel comfortable. And soon that you'll get into that habit of replacing every time you feel bad and start thinking negatively, you'll automatically think, oh, I need to replace this with a good thought. It will become a habit, and soon you'll get out of that practice of thinking negatively, and then you'll be able to build up to having less negative things in your life and I believe that a more positive attitude a more positive mindset equals less anxiety less depression it's really a mental game that you just need to play against yourself and if you can do this you're gonna win is it still recording okay I'm really paranoid about it stopping recording because I really want to get this video up um, somebody mentioned my weight loss I did recently have a baby, so that helps. He does nurse, so that helps too. But also, I went gluten-free, which really helps. It's a hard... I mean, it's not because we're allergic or anything, but it does make us sick now that when we eat it again. Um, it's just one of those things, like, we could cut out of our diet, and it really wouldn't, like... 
it just seemed like a healthier choice to cut gluten out of our diet. Wheat, bread, pasta, all the good tasty stuff, the stuff that your body craves but doesn't really need. Um, and also I started Shea Loss. It's two days Shea Loss and it's kicking my butt. I am so sore right now. But it's going to be so worth it at the end because my body's going to be awesome and I'll be able to lift my babies up and be like bench press my toddler and my baby at the same time. And um, I know this is a quick one. I'm going to get a real camera and actually make a real good video. But I need to get videos up more because I want more people to subscribe because I want more people to start talking about these issues because I want everybody to feel good. And... There's my toddler drinking his juice. Yay! And I wanted people to feel good because I'm starting to feel good because I'm exercising and I'm replacing bad thoughts with good ones. And it's just that simple. It's just a good way to start. Um, Hi, Royal. You're looking at me through the video camera? Okay, don't touch any buttons. So I'm going to go because I have cranky babies and I have to go to the bathroom. So I leave you with this. Things will get better and cute toddler. Hi, Mama. Say hi, everybody. I love you, love you, Mama. Say good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.